In this video, we are going to detect a loop in a linked list. We will be using the Floyd's cycle algorithm for detecting the loop. So we begin by initializing a slow pointer and a fast pointer, both pointing to the head node of the linked list. We move the slow pointer one step and the fast pointer two steps in a loop until slow pointer and fast pointer point to the same node. So what happens that initially both the fast pointer and slow pointer are pointing to the same node. The slow pointer moves with the speed of one step whereas the fast pointer moves with the speed of two steps. When both of them point to the same node, a loop is detected. Now we study the C implementation of our problem. The fast pointer and slow pointer are pointers as pointed before. The slow pointer iterates by one step whereas the fast pointer iterates by two steps. If the slow pointer is equal to the fast pointer, the loop is detected. Continuing with the description of our problem, we now describe our problem using the hare and tortoise example. Let us assume that a hare and a tortoise are going to fight a race. The hare will move with the speed of two steps and the tortoise will move with the speed of one step. They will keep on running until and unless they meet at some node in the linked list. Now how do we know that they are going to definitely meet? We try to answer this question in the next few slides. Let M be the number of steps to the beginning of the loop. Let L be the length of the loop and K be the number of steps to meeting point from the starting of loop. Suppose tortoise takes I steps to reach the meeting point. Then I is equal to M that is the number of steps to the beginning of the loop plus K the number of steps to the meeting point from the starting of the loop and a times the loop length that is the number of times the tortoise requires to recursively move in the loop. Similarly for the hair, it will be moving 2 into i steps that is twice the number of steps taken by the tortoise to reach the meeting point. This 2 into i will be equal to m plus k plus b times the loop length as described for the tortoise. Now from 1, we get that the steps moved by the tortoise is half of that of the hare. Thus minimizing the terms, we get this equation. Since M and L are already known, if we can find a triplet of K, B and A. Satisfying this equation, we know that the solution to our problem exists. Next we find the starting point of the loop. Now suppose we again begin the race with both tortoise and hare speed 1, but the tortoise is standing at the starting point and hare at M plus K point that is the meeting point. Now let them both run at the speed of one step. Both meet at the starting point. How? We know that M plus K is multiple of loop length L. Let both move only M steps. So tortoise would arrive at the cycle beginning. Here would be K steps short of completing B minus 2A rotations. Since it started K steps in front of the cycle beginning, 
here would have to arrive at the cycle beginning. Hence by using this arrangement we can find out the starting point of the loop.